Now at 930, unrelenting devastation in Turkey and Syria as the death toll now tops 46,000 from that 7.8 magnitude earthquake. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo. California researchers are now at ground zero there to collect data on that quake. KCAL's Lori Perez is live with a closer look at their project. And Lori, this is all because Turkey and California actually have similar tectonics. That's exactly right. We spoke with a UCLA expert tonight who said the regionalities are so similar. That's why it's so important that that team is over there right now tonight. That California team of engineers and seismologists, scientists are over there looking at the damage. They are part of a state group called Learning from Earthquakes. Essentially, we're trying to design for a condition in California that we haven't seen. And so the ability to go see what that looks like and learn from it is is really a once in a lifetime. UCLA professor and civil engineer Jonathan Stewart says he's in regular contact with a team of four earthquake experts who rushed from California to see the devastation on the ground in Turkey. He says the quake there is the kind that could happen here. California and Turkey have similar tectonics, which control the types of earthquakes that can occur. So this group he helped coordinate of geotechnical and structural Structural engineers and seismologists has an urgent mission. This particular earthquake in in Turkey, um, obviously devastating, um, just a horrific event. But we can learn from that, and we can try to improve seismic safety for for Turkey and for California and other places by collecting this data and learning from it in the years to come. He says they have to move quickly to examine collapsed buildings, damaged pipelines, and the ground itself. Their research relies on evidence that will disappear or be compromised during rescue, recovery, and cleanup. Already, Stewart says, they've found something interesting. One of the things that they have observed, which really hasn't come out in the press, at least not to my knowledge, is the really extraordinary amounts of liquefaction. Liquefaction is when soil, under certain conditions, loses strength and it turns into something like a liquid. And so when that happens, foundations punch into the ground. Liquefaction has happened, like in Northridge, and, and will happen oh. again. So for example, along the LA River in the San Fernando Valley uh, is an area that's liquefiable along Bologna Creek. Um, certainly the ports in Los Angeles and Long Beach are very vulnerable. The reconnaissance team has traveled to other major quakes around the world, but he says this one. Nobody has ever seen the level of devastation that they've seen in this earthquake. And, you know, we're, we're currently planning to send a follow-up team. And, you know, one of their warnings to the follow-up team is just be ready for seeing the level of devastation none of us have ever seen before and it's pretty emotionally taxing. Now, California's small team is working with about 100 Turkish experts. Their work is so detailed and complex. It's also at times dangerous, but it is so vital, and he says quite possibly life-saving down the road. In Studio City, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. Half a world away and so close to home. Lori, thank you so much.